Hi, and thanks for watching. I'm Tyler from electricshaverguide.com, and here we have another comparison review. We're not gonna go into too much detail on each individual shaver, so you can find the full reviews by visiting the website. We're gonna compare the new Panasonic ES LV models to the previous models, the Panasonic ES LA models. The design and features are pretty much the same, so it's really gonna come down to comparing the shaving performance and really seeing if five blades is better than four. So first, let's quickly look at the shaver design and then we'll get into the performance. Here we have the models side by side and it might be hard to distinguish which one is which, but on the left we have the Panasonic ESLV 61A, that's the blue razor, and on the right we have the Panasonic ESLA93K, the black version. And just so everyone's clear, the ESLV 61A on the left here is blue and it's the razor only option, and the Panasonic ESLV 81K is black and it does come with the cleaning station. For the LA models, the ESLA93K, which is this one on the right, is black with a cleaning station, and the ESLA63S is gray, and that's the razor only version of the ESLA models. So you can see in the previous little clip there that the models don't turn on when they are plugged in charging, so you have to pull the plug out to turn them on. When they are turned on, it'll display how long they've been used and the remaining battery life. So that's the same on the new ESLV models as it is on the LA models. And there, there is a locking feature on both. Here's the LA93K, turn it on, tells you how long you've used it for, how much battery life is left, and then there is that lock feature as well. So the same design on the new and the old. Another similarity is the pop-up trimmer. They're both located on the back. You can see when you pop it all the way up for the trimmer, it pops out. There is a free setting and a lock setting. There it's on lock, so the shaving head is locked. And if you bump it down to free, you'll get the 360 degree pivoting head. So that's gonna be also the same type of design for the older LA models. Pop it up and then put it to lock or free. So the displays and the entire shaving head design is very similar. Another similarity is the cleaning station. Here we're looking at the ESLA93K's cleaning station and it's very similar to the new ESLV81K's cleaning station. The new one might clean it a bit faster and it does go into standby mode when it's finished cleaning and charging, meaning it's not gonna blink anymore, but essentially it's gonna work very, very similarly. Finally, let's find out what the improvement is on the new model. You can see here, it pivots 360 degrees, exact same way the older LA models do, but you can see that as you pop the foil off and we take a closer look, it does have five blades, so four foils and a center cutter still has the two inner blades and the foil cap can be removed and put on very easily. Taking a look at the older LA model, you can see that the head pivots the same way the new model does. In an up close look, you can see the three foils and the cutter, so that's the four blades. The foil cap is removed very easily and you can see that the arc four refers to three foils and a center cutter. Two inner blades, the same as the new LV model. So essentially we are looking at five blades versus four, the ARC-5 Panasonic ES LV models and the ARC-4 Panasonic ES LA models. And the big question is, is that fifth blade worth it? Does it produce better shaves? With about two days worth of growth, both shavers perform really well. You can see here the Panasonic ES LV model is mowing through my fish hair very easily. You can really feel it shaving through each hair almost, and it works almost effortlessly shaving through about two days worth of growth. So very efficient and very powerful.
Jumping over to the ESLA model, it also does a really good job and doesn't struggle with about two days worth of growth. But you can notice when you shave side by side that it's just a tad bit slower and maybe a little less powerful. It certainly doesn't have any problems, but you can feel that the newer model and that fifth blade does add a bit of performance. I wouldn't say it's way, way better, but you can notice that fifth blade does help improve the efficiency of the shave. You can notice the difference even more around the areas where your facial hair is a bit more dense, like your chin and your neck. Here the LA model is doing a fine job with two days worth of growth on a relatively thick beard. But when I do jump over to the LV model, you can kind of feel and maybe notice that bit of boost coming from that extra blade. Jumping over to the new LV model here, that fifth blade does improve the process of the shaves. It does make it more effective and more efficient, especially if you have thick facial hair. Those with very thick facial hair or facial hair that's similar to mine will appreciate the fifth blade and I would say it would be worth it for you. Those with maybe an average or light beard, you probably won't really notice the difference too much and I would say paying a premium price for the ESLV models probably isn't worth it for you. You can save money, go with the ESLA models and still get a really good shave. Before the ESLV models came out, Panasonic's best shavers were the ESLA models, the ARC 4 shavers. And when I reviewed them for the first time, I liked them a lot and I did recommend them to those with thicker beards. Now that a new model's come out, it doesn't make these shavers any worse. It just means that those who want even better shaving performance and are willing to pay a premium price can upgrade to the new ESLV models, the ARC 5 shavers. These new shavers do perform better, but it doesn't take away the fact that the old ESLA models are still great and they're still recommended, especially for those with a medium to an average beard. Those with thick facial hair that are willing to pay the price can upgrade and you will notice a difference. Okay, so here are some quick final thoughts on this shaving comparison. Apart from the added blade, the overall design is very similar. Panasonic is clearly sticking to what works. There aren't any big changes at all. Looking at the cleaning station, we just briefly looked at the ESLA models cleaning station. You can find the full review at electricshaverguide.com for more details on the cleaning station, but essentially the new ESLV models will have a cleaning station that functions the same way. There aren't any big improvements there. After shaving side by side for quite some time, it's clear that the fifth blade does help improve the efficiency and the effectiveness of the shave. So new technology, new improvements are working still. Uh, when you add another blade, if you got six blades in there, you go up to seven, who knows if that's really gonna make a difference, but right now, five blades is better than four. So we did answer that question, but this just produces another question. Are you willing to pay a premium price for that fifth blade? I would say if you have thick facial hair, you have facial hair that's similar to mine, you will appreciate the fifth blade. You will notice a difference. It will give you better shaves. Those with maybe a medium or an average type of beard growth, you probably aren't gonna notice too much of a difference with that fifth blade, I would say that the ESLA models are probably good enough. When I first reviewed those ESLA models, I did recommend them to those with thick facial hair. And just because a new shavers come out, it doesn't mean those recommendations are invalid anymore. It just means that those who want to pay a premium price can get a better shaver. So if you have thick facial hair, you have facial hair that's similar to mine, you're willing to pay a bit more, you will get better results with the five blades. Those with an average to medium type of beard, you will get better results as well, but the difference is probably not as noticeable as someone with thick facial hair. The ESLA models are still really recommended for medium beards and even those with thick beards who want to save a bit of money. Remember, whatever shaver you do choose, I hope you get good results. You can find full reviews at electricshaverguide.com and you can find sales prices there as well. 
If you're not a fan at Facebook yet, you can support these reviews by visiting the page Electric Shaver Guide and liking it. This does help out quite a bit. And if you did find this particular comparison review useful, you can subscribe through the button on the screen. And again, like always, whichever shaver you do choose, I hope you get good results.